So welcome to another very interesting Hackaround challenge. This will be an easy one, as you can see right here in difficulty level. So this basically tells us that the cat and the mouse are at various positions in a line. You will, will be given their starting position. Your task is to determine which cat will reach the mouse first. Assuming the mouse does not move and the cats travel at equal speed, if the cats arrive at the same time, the mouse will be allowed to move and it will escape while they fight. You are given Q queries in the form of X, Y, Z representing the, the respective positions of cats A, B, and C, and mouse cat A and B, and for mouse C. Complete the cat and mouse uh, function to return, to return the appropriate answer for each query, which will be printed on a new line. If cat A catches the mouse first, print cat A. If cat B catches the mouse first, print cat C. If both cats reach the mouse at the same time, print mouse C. At the mouse C as the two cat fight and the mouse, escape, mouse escapes. So you are given three items: uh, position of cat A, position of cat B, and position of mouse C. They are traveling at the same speed, so the only thing that's going to determine when they are going to reach the mouse is the distance of them from the mouse. So permit me to use my whiteboard uh, briefly. So I'm going to just start a new page here and call it cat, uh, cat and mouse. Right, so, so most of the time the best thing to do is to just uh, sketch out what is happening here. So assuming we have, uh, we have a cat here, we have the mouse here, mouse C, and we have this kind of number line, and we have cat A here, and we have cat B here, and this is uh, the reference point or the, the coordinates. <laughs> the reference point is going to be zero. This is position of mouse A, X. This is position of mouse Y, mouse B is Y, and this is uh, Z. So the condition for mouse A to get here first is that if this distance X minus Z if x minus z is going to be absolute value of x minus z will be greater than the absolute value so if it's greater than the absolute value of c minus b or c minus b that's z minus y or y minus z so it's all the same when you're talking about absolute value so in this case it's going to be mouse sorry if this sorry let me just make it clear if this distance here x and z is less then it's going to be mouse a is going to get there first else if this distance this same distance i'm going to just use ellipsis if this distance is less then it's going to be mouse b else it's going to be cats C. So that's basically the solution to this problem. So if you sketch it out, you know that this distance x, z, y, z, and then figure it out. Let's just write it out. Okay, they even explained this right here. So let's write it out. I like using Python. So let me quickly write it here. Um, so I'm going to say if absolute value of x minus z minus z is less than absolute value of y minus z right y minus z right so i'm gonna print is it is it print or return so that's what i'm gonna check here so it says um it says uh let's see uh determine does not move will be printed on a new line will be printed okay so it will be printed and if i go down here i'm seeing a result here so whatever the case less because now it's not claimed so i'm going to i'm just going to return because i'm seeing print result is here whatever the case um return card a and else if absolute value of uh, x y minus z is less than absolute
absolute value of x minus z. I'm going to return part b. Uh, yeah, so else I'm going to return cat c because this the absolute values are the same. I'm going to return uh, cat c. Okay, so it's going to be elif. <laughs> I was thinking I'm using Java. So. Okay, so uh, again, I don't know if it's print or return. So I'm going to just run this code. If, it's, if it doesn't work, then it means it's going to be. So we have your output is cat b and cat c. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be mouse C, <laughs> so sometimes it can be a problem, I forget exactly uh, what to do. So now the sample test case is passed, I'm going to submit this code and let's see what happens so it passes. So I think everything works fine, I'm going to be stopping here and I'd like to thank you for viewing, please remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and we'll see you in the next part.